So guys, time for a new devlog and today we will talk about ALS, of course, I always talk about ALS and what you see here is, if we go back to the debugging view, you see that Twinblast works with ALS, kind of, but the rifle is completely misplaced and this is a topic I was stuck <laughs> since a year basically and I did not understand how it works. But now I will share you how it basically works and also I have to announce something if you have not seen it yet. So how it works basically is if we start playing the game and go back to the animations like this one here, there we have this IK handgun bone. And to be honest, I was wondering why those bones are in the epic skeleton and I did not know. And but for ALS, they are used to place the held objects like the rifle. And as you see, if we have a misplaced bone, like here, basically on the hand, then we will have, of course, a misplaced held object as well. So that's the case for every held object in ELS. And how I, how, I, how I get it working basically is, so if we go to this pose here and you see, this pose is perfectly fine. I fixed this bone location. Also 200 pounds works. Also crouch works, so every pause basically, and also the torch pause. This as well also works. But the two handed pauses, they don't work yet because there I'm still trying to find a solution so that I also can constrain the hands and so on. But as you see, those are completely messed up. <laughs> and yeah, the reason is this shitty bone. And yeah, how you can fix it. That's that's the amazing thing. Now sit down, listen carefully, and I will explain you how the process is. So you go here to this blueprint, and this is a blueprint which can be used in the editor to do a lot of stuff. And basically what I did is introduce the scene component and attach this pistol here, which you can select, mm, let me check, which you can select here, and then you can move this around with this gizmos like normal stuff. And if you have it move around, you can say, oh yeah, please get me the relative held object location and rotation. Then we will get those values here. And then you can say, apply relative held object location rotation to every frame of the, se of the animation sequence. And the animation sequence is the following here. This is the two-handed pistol pose of ALS. And here we can also select the frame so we can check them during editor time if we want. Or we can fine tune those bones if you have different requirements for your hand and bones. And we can also say, yeah, we want to use twin blast here. And now the amazing thing is the amazing thing. We can use or we can see those calculated locations here. And if I hide them again, we can say modify anim sequence. Then it will directly modify the animation sequence and bake those locations into the animation sequence. That's that's very interesting. You can code this with a little bit of C++ and many blueprint nodes. And then you can get it working. And as you see, it works perfectly fine for these three poses already. And I also covered, covered this with the many that it works as well. So and the amazing thing is now sit down and listen very carefully again. I shared the process how to develop those tools in this playlist here on YouTube. So check out my channel or the link down in the description in the video below to start working on the on those topics. And then I will share everything. How I go from from scratch with adding ALS to Unreal Engine 5 project, introduce C++, adding virtual bones, sockets, retarget animations, constrain the bones and so on. And the, inter the very important thing is, if you don't have constrained bonds, it might mess up your food IK system. And then you don't know why, but you can see this in the animations. So if you go to the animations, let me open one animation. And here we have those, let me see if we can share this root bone and basically this foot bone. And th those bones should be constrained for every frame on the foot up, on the foot bone basically. And if you don't have this one, so it's not constrained to this bone here, left bone, then it will mess up your foot IK system or your hand IK system. That's also very important for ALS. 
to fix the placements of the left or right hand if you have two handed poses. And yeah, sadly, 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 we yeah, get this issue if we retarget the animations like here. So I'm using the IK retargeting system and yeah, it works perfectly fine for Twin Blast if you use the correct settings. And that's what I also will show on the tutorial series. And the annoying part is that's, <laughs> yeah, we will cover a lot of topics in this series. The annoying part is that you need to add those bone chains. So if you already worked with those bone chains, it's super painful currently and it's no fun. You have to set up them one by one, click on the bone here, click on the next bone and so on. And yeah, I got really crazy while doing this and I said, mm, there should be a different solution. And the solution I found is the following. You can do a right click here and go to scripted asset actions, go to character tools. That's the tools we will develop in the series and go here to add IK chains from data table. Then it will open a new window and we can say here chain. And here it's a data table and there we store the information on how we want to set up those chains. And now we can already yeah, create chains from the UE4 many skeleton, basically every skeleton, which we all which we are which we all know from Unreal Engine 4 or for the UE5 many. And then if you click on OK, it will apply those chains. And let me see why does it not oh maybe I forgot. Let me do it again. Chain. So we go to chain browse the asset and we open this data table. And as you see here, here we have the information from the IK chains, from UE4 many and UE, UE4 many and UE5 many. And basically what we need is the chain name, of course, the start bone name, the end bone name and the IK goal name if we have one. And then we can apply them magically with a right click. And yeah, we are super happy because we don't have to do this annoying task. And it, yeah speeds up the character integration workflow quite a lot. So you can save 30 minutes or 45 minutes or one hour, depends on how fast you can click and how precise you can set up those chains. And what we can also do now, sit down, <laughs> we will cover a lot of topics in those um, videos. We can do here, or we can go here, scripted asset, asset actions, character tools and dump IK chains. And what it does is it dumps all the chains we already have set up in this output log window. So hopefully we can see it. And here are the chains basically. And let me open a Notepad++ editor. So, so we also have them directly in the clipboard. So what we can do is, for example, that's the amazing workflow. We can create a new data table row and say here, video, test, and do a right click, paste. And then bam, we have those chains here and we can migrate them to a new IK retarget, IK retarget uh, rig. No, it's called IK, IK rig. So because basically you cannot assign a new skeleton currently in Unreal Engine 5, but now we can. So we can just create a new retarget uh, IK rig and apply those chains from the data table. And that's a huge time saver, really a huge time saver. And today I was working on Twin Blast, so this guy here from Paragon. You'd say one hour and 30 minutes. I yeah, I forgot a little bit what steps needs to be done and struggled a little bit with it, but I got him working basically. And what I will do is also create a new series where we only cover how we can use those tools to get him working without developing stuff because now it's in a good state already so that we can use those tools. If you follow the videos, you exactly know step by step from scratch how I developed them. I shared everything like we, we do the retargeting and how we call the tools with blueprints. And sadly, we need to use a little bit of C++, but also this I will try to explain very well. And you can follow, the, follow it and then you can yeah, hopefully get your characters working in the future more easily and quicker of course of, as well and yeah now sit down <laughs> a lot of mention a lot of stuff to mention or announce today i already shared those tools here on github so it's open source you get them for free and 
you can download them here in the zip file basically but what i did not yet is provide a binary so that you can install it into the engine i will cover this topic in the series which we have seen here soon and then you can download it as well but as long as i did not have them provided yet you need to follow those steps or watch the video adding c support ue5 main integration so it's just chapter six basically of the series there i will show you how you can add c to a pure blueprint project and then you can set up the plugin as well so that's what i will show you guys and yeah you might wondering why is he talking so long <laughs> i'm talking so long because of this reason this blog post or not blog post this forum thread i opened not this year last year <laughs> and i did not know how to solve those issues with misplaced bone locations and i was completely stuck for one year i did not understand how to use it but then i found out yeah you need to move the ik handgun bone and then i thought hmm how should i move it i cannot use blender maya and and iclone or something like this and i don't i don't want to mess around with importing and exporting the animations it's it's a huge pain and also <laughs> i don't know if you want to do it manually but if you go to the animations like for twin blast here i store them in heroes twin blast animations ls if we filter for animations we have 180 uh, animations which is quite a lot 18 118 animations so yeah this is <laughs> it might take you some time to fix all those bone locations for the eiger handgun bone and yeah constrain them if you don't have a script for that there's a blender tool which is called bone breaker but I don't know if it works or not, I did not use it, but then you still have the issue with importing those animations and exporting them. And if you have tried it already, you might know how painful this process can be. But yeah, now I have a working solution and it works perfectly fine. It also scales very well. We, we will cover many topics and also it's kind of automated already, so you don't have to mess around with IK bone chains. You don't have a mess around with the sockets. We can also add them via right click and data tables. We can add virtual bones as well. We can constrain the bones from every animation. So here, if you here do a right click and go to scripted asset actions and say constrain bones, and it will constrain them. Or we can do from data tables as well. That's, that's how I developed the tools. They all have the same structure. And yeah, so what is left, you might think <laughs> he's talking about a lot of stuff and yeah, not everything is working yet. So the, the last two things, the marcher two things are the rifle pose and uh, 200 pistol pose has some issue with a moving left hand and I don't know why yet. So it's basically not constrained to the, to the right hand. But when I found the solution, I will share this in the series as well. And you might wondering how is root motion working and root motion is working as well. So here we can do mantling. And as, as you see, so if I go back, oh, <laughs> sadly I was falling down. So if I go back and go to the debug view and oh, this is a bit painful to work with. So if we do slow motion and then you see here hand placement is not perfectly set up yet so i need to work on this as well and find this and find out what is the issue and also we have some <laughs> stretching i don't know why yet but yeah so it basically works oh what is going on now seems to be a bug in ls um Oh yeah, rolling works, but for Twin Blast, I have an issue with the, <laughs> yeah, that's very weird. The physics asset is not correctly set up. So if you know how to fix it, please share it in the comments below. 
I would be very interested how to set up a physics asset for Twin Blast. But the getup animations are playing very well, so this is fixed. So yeah, I would say mostly covered 80 or 90 percent of Twin Blast. And yeah, it took me one year to figure it out <laughs> and learn everything about the ELS. But hopefully not for you. I will share it in the series so that you can work with those tools and get your character quicker working and easier if you don't want to use the many. So now we can use Twin Blast characters as well. And also check this out. It already works with ALS, the AI implementation. So he is, he is he, here is he running around and we can see the character states here. So yeah, it's perfectly working. So it's yeah very interesting. And for me, yeah, <laughs> a huge topic is covered. I know how to fix it. And yeah, I really hope that you like the series and hopefully share this well so that now, that now more people in the community know how to fix issues with their characters and avoid headaches if you have some. So yeah, see you in the next video or in the next series. And I wish you all the success with character integrations. Goodbye.